Orthopedics, all about fractures, part two. Which fractures should you just about always operate on? Whether multi-trauma, pathological tumor, or decreased bone density as in osteoporosis, where there are nursing difficulties, forearm fractures, where the fracture is displaced or involves a joint, and fractures of the femur. So here we have it, pelvic fracture, operate. Pathological fracture, tumor, operate. Ankle fracture involving the joint, operate. Fracture of the femur, the femur loves to be operated on. Good blood supply heals well, rapid rehab is the fracture of the femur here. Which fractures you just about never operate on? Children, most fractures of the children heal without surgery. There's exceptions, of course. Here's a pelvic fracture, eight-year-old. Huge remodeling potential, don't require surgery. Fracture of the wrist, an eight-year-old. Close reduction just about always does well. Here's a fracture, forearm, 11-year-old. Close reduction does well. Sometimes you have to operate. And the only fractures in children just about always have to operate on a hip. Tibial fractures, well, 50-50 exceptions. Often get away without surgery in adults. Who not to operate on? Patients who have problems following your post-op instructions and jockeys. Hey, that's just a joke about jockeys. Never apply a full plaster to a new fracture. Put a back slab on. You can put the full plaster on the next day. The worst that's going to happen is you lose position. If you have tight plaster, it's not picked up. You'll get a compartment syndrome, that swelling in the muscle in a tight space and get death of the muscle, a disaster. Remember part one? Follow up all fractures, especially children. This may need follow up one to two years and some children's fractures up to 20, lateral condylar fracture. Difficult to treat fractures, may be an impossible fracture, comminuted bits and pieces, pathological, unstable. So, impossible or difficult fracture. Impossible facilities, you need the right knowledge and the right equipment, the right hospital and the right people around you, II, x-ray machines. And of course, an impossible patient will not follow your instructions. They can really compromise your care and the successful treatment of a fracture. Children's fractures. They involve growth plate, so you get growth plate injuries. That's where the bone's growing, at the end of the bone. The bone may stop growing, which will result in shortening, short leg, or angulation of a leg or limbs. So here we have a lateral condylar fracture, atrial, complicated. Complications may occur later at age 20. Can you imagine it? A lateral condylar fracture. Often you have to operate on them, follow them up for the rest of their life, almost to age 20, until they become an adult. Fracture lower femur, 11 year old, stop growing, fires hold injury, stop growing in this area at 12 to 18 months. Follow carefully. Here's a fire seal bridge and ankle fracture. Follow an ankle fracture. Here's a growth arrest and that femur that, and that fracture lower femur I just talked about. Follow carefully, please. Up two years, sometimes 20 years. All fractures, I'm going to cover all of them for you. So here we go. The neck, cervical spine may be associated with severe catastrophic neurological injuries, but again, reduce with calipers or externally, and then hold uh, with either internal fixation or with neck braces. Fractures of thoracic spine may be associated with neurological injuries, small canal. Lumbar spine, seldom neurological injuries, roomy, sometimes operate. Fractures of the pelvis can be life-threatening, can kill the patient through hemorrhage. Fractures of the femur, remember, just about always operate on them. The top, the middle, the bottom. Fractures around the knee, just about always operate. Fractures of tibial shaft, 50-50, operate, tap. Fractures of the ankle, just about always operate. Fractures of the tailors may often operate. Fractures of the calcaneus, lots of worries, difficult, only if you have the expertise. Fractures of the navicular can be difficult to heal. Fractures of the fifth metacarpal at the base, lots of different fractures you have to follow carefully. Fractures of the base of second metacarpal, metatarsal, can be difficult to see. Fractures of the toes, body strap. Okay, that's a lower limb gone. Let's go for the upper limb. Shoulder. Fractures of the clavicle, often heal, don't rush to operate on. Fractures of the shoulder, and children remodel do well. Adults just about always operate. Fractures of the humeral shaft, adults just about always operate. Children never. Fractures around the elbow, for all worries that adults and children often just about always operate. Fractures of the forearm, operate in adults, children may get away with closed reduction, fracture of the wrist, often we operate now, fractures involving the scaphoid, lots of worries, fractures involving the metacarpals, one to four, often operate, fifth metacarpal neck,
boxes fracture often leave fractures involved in the PIP joint need to get it right off and operate well that's just a tour de force so here they are in a little bit more detail for you common fracture shoulder proximal humerus just about always operate this fracture needs to be put back in good position fracture of the clavicle young patients young adults remodel what may remodel fractures of the elbow fracture lateral condyla fracture of the elbow children often operate they can be very young children supercondyl fractures close reduction takes a lot of skill it's a true test of an orthopedic surgeon may need can reduce with skill but may need pins to hold it fractures collies fractures of the wrist so collies fracture close reduction often we operate on these now internally operate particularly at adults because they later settle fractures of scaphoid full of problems if it's pain free at the beginning follow follow um, carefully if it's any pain in the region of the scaphoid follow it carefully until the x-rays bone scan or further imaging such as ct or mri show something don't overlook these if there's any pain keep following and x-raying and immobilize Fractures of the fifth metacarpal neck, often these will remodel. Fractures of PIP joint have to be got right. Fractures of the VIP joint, not so critical at all. Here we go. Fractures of the hip and femur operate. Fractures of the knee, plateau fractures often operate. Tibial shaft 50 50 ankle often operate. Talus sometimes operate if displaced. Calcaneus typical to operate and need a lot of skill. Here's the fractures of the upper tibia in the upper, upper tibia may be associated with vascular injury. Watch this very carefully. May get away with cast, close with management, may need to operate. Fractures of the base, second metatarsal, involves the arch of the foot. Uh, look at carefully, follow carefully, made surgery. Base of the, base of the fifth, several fractures here, slow to heal. Fracture of the toes, not so critical. Here's bilateral tibial shaft fractures in a child. You don't need to operate there. Okay, here's some common soft tissue injuries that you need to know about. Skiers, thumb, UCL, MCP. UCL, MCP, that's actually a dislocation with it. Ligaments be torn. A complete tear need to operate. See, complete tear's gone right over, need to operate. Otherwise, a splint on for six to eight weeks, follow carefully. Dislocated shoulder, often anterior, typical, typical posture in young patients, follow carefully. This may recur, image may well require surgery of a slap lesion or torn uh, capsule or labrum. Knee sprain, examine, image carefully. Maybe a meniscal injury needs to be dealt with, ACL needs to be dealt with, medial collateral, lateral collateral ligaments, often we don't operate on those. Sprained ankle. The only thing you really need to exclude is a fracture to an x-ray of course. If it's a sprained ankle, lateral ligament complex, follow carefully, brace, gentle exercises, and only very few come to surgery. So there you are. Now here's some important things not to forget. Important signs. Look at important clinical signs associated with fracture. For example, blood at the tip of a penis post-injury is a pelvic fracture, rupture of the urethra. Here, yeah, blood tip of the penis. Don't overlook these things. In, in multiple trauma, young doctors sometimes forget about foot fractures. They do all serious injury. Sure, you've got to do these. But look at the whole patient. Come back the next day, re-examine. The third day, re-examine. Foot fractures, these later, these are often overlooked and become the main concern of the patient later and their, and their lawyer. Please remember, there's no such thing as a minor fracture. So, I hope you enjoy treating fractures. Try hard. These are often young and active patients and you can make a big difference to their life with your care. Here's a case study. Terrible car accident, crushed patient nearly killed, here she is before surgery, smiling but anxious, fractured femur, you put a nail in the femur, here she is up at one to two days, you've done a great job, saved the patient, good luck and enjoy your career and I hope this helps with your management and treatment of fractures.